Hi everyone, it's Shannon from Sam Pendisley. Shannon, I just wanted to come on today and do a paper pumpkin unboxing. So this is the June 2021 Expressions and Color Kit, um, and it is based on alcohol inks. Um, so this is a super hot trend in the stamping community, and with Stampin' Up! in particular. Um, and you can make these yourselves, um, but this paper pumpkin kit is inspired by it, and it has some really great things inside. So I have only seen it on um, in images and in other people's videos, um, so I'm super excited to show you my paper pumpkin kit and what came inside. So let's go ahead and get started. So first off, it comes in this super cute um, designer box. Um, sometimes they just come in red boxes, but sometimes they design the box especially to match what's inside. Um, and this box is gorgeous. Um, I will definitely be keeping this box. And uh, right away we see um, our stamps and a little information pamphlet and two Stampin' Spots. Um, so this is Bumblebee and Evening Evergreen. This is a 2021 to 2023 in color. And I believe this is a 2020 to 2022 um, uh, in color as well. Um, so these are two fun spots. You get two spots in this month's kit. Super exciting. And then we have our stamps. Let me, I'll flip this over so you can see what they look like. Um, so we have your amazing thanks for everything. Well, and actually these are two separate stamps here. Um, so thanks and for everything. And then we have congratulations, sending hugs, mini. So you can combine this with mini congratulations, mini thanks. Um, very cute stamps. And I love this watercolor stamp here. Um, there are a lot of really neat and fun designs that are happening um, with these watercolor-esque stamps. Um, and Stampin' Up! has quite a few stamp sets in the annual catalog that have um, this uh, kind of design to them. Um, so I'm super excited to have this one in my collection as well. And then flipping this over, this just tells us what kind of um, other products kind of coordinate with it. And this is the Expressions in Ink paper or um, um, yeah, the Expressions in Ink uh, special, I double, ch I questioned myself, um, but it was the Expressions in Ink specialty designer series paper. Um, so this is gorgeous paper and it actually has like gold leafing um, inside of the paper itself um, so you get this really fun metallic shimmer um, with this watercolor ink um, kind of design and then the up flip side of them have um, beautiful flowers and florals um, this paper set is amazing so definitely check this out for sure all right, so let's get into the meat of our paper pumpkin box. As always, it comes wrapped in a piece of tissue paper. And as always, I say that this tissue paper will be for my cat. Um, oh boy. Sorry, there. there we go. We'll toss this off to the side. And let's open it up. So. Uh. As I'm opening this, I will tell you, make sure to always keep your cardboard um, because it is fun to do your own, um, you know, water and alcohol-based product projects um, with this cardboard. It just helps kind of adhere it down a little bit better. Um, and it's a little sturdy, um, sturdy design space for you. Um, so you can see, I can actually show you something I just did for a class real quick. Um, this is actually my own alcohol ink um, paper that I made on vellum. Um, but you can see I used um, a piece of Stampin' Up! cardboard, something that they sent in the mail. So I just reused that with some painter's tape and have this beautiful design. Um, and it was so much easier to do it when it was adhered down to a very sturdy surface. So um, if you like to do things like that, salt technique and all that, make sure to save this clean, fresh piece of cardboard. It's a great way to recycle and repurpose as well. Um, so we'll go ahead and start with our directions. Um, so as always, it shows you the three beautiful designs on the front that Stampin' Up! has designed for you. And then on the back, um, it shows you all of the different pieces that you'll get. And we'll show all of those here in just a minute. As well as some alternate designs. And these are the Ombre gift bags. Super cute. Um, and then it has some links um, for how to set up. Uh, paper pumpkin as well as some other alternative ideas and places you can find alternatives um, and then as always you can find the coordinating colors in the bottom left hand corner so the bumblebee evening evergreen fresh frieza and polished pink so when you open this up on the inside you'll find that there is a ruler along the side 
um, and it gives you detailed instructions on how to put the cards together. Um, so this is definitely um, a keep. So I definitely keep this until you've at least finished the kit. Um, if not, um, keeping it for, you know, if you have any extra supplies or anything like that, you could keep this for designs and things like that too. So let's see. So as always, we get some glue dots. Um, these are super fun glue dots. They're not the same kind of glue dots that Sampin' Up! provides. They're not the mini glue dots on the roll, um, but they do have the same concept. They are essentially glue dots. Um, they're a little bit flatter than regular glue dots. And then we, oh, those are, those are really pretty. I didn't, I didn't even see those when I opened it up the first time. Um, so these are dimensionals. As always, you get some of those. Um, I think these are the two standard adhesives. Usually you will get both of these in your paper pumpkin kit. Not always, but usually. Um, and then we've got these beautiful sequin, adhesive sequins. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Um, and they come in such fun colors. So they're iridescent-ish, but they, you can, um, I don't know if it, holding it under white will help or not. Um, so they look like they're different colors, but they're really iridescent. Um, so they, some of them look a little bit orangey. Some of them look a little bit pink or a little bit purple. Um, but they all look kind of shimmery. So very, very pretty. And then we get some evening evergreen linen thread. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So, so pretty. Um, and I, of course, don't have any of this. I'm not even sure if Stampin' Up! has this in the annual catalogs. This is kind of exclusive to the paper pumpkin kits. Um, and I feel like they've been including, um, fun threads like this in the paper pumpkin kits. So definitely worth, um, taking a look at subscribing for sure. Um, and then we have some envelopes and they're not lined this time, but they're still really quality thick envelopes here. So very nice. Um, and it looks like we have maybe nine, Let's see, two, three, four, five, six, six and then, yeah, nine. Whoa, that was hard to count to nine there. Um, but we've got the three smaller ones and we've got three larger ones. And so we'll set those off to the side. They're just envelopes. And then we get to the real fun part of our, oh my gosh, those are so fun. Um, we'll get to the real fun part of our projects here. So we've got these gorgeous alcohol ink um, designer papers. Um, there's nothing on the back of them. They're just plain white. Um, but they are super fun. They're not um, shimmery or anything like that, but you could use Wink of Stella um, and add some shimmer to yourself, um, to these cards here. So you could add some of that. Um, but these are just really fun. And this is like the evening evergreen, um, which this is so much lighter than I thought it would be based on, you know, what evening evergreen stamps like. So super, super great. Um, we've got some little banners here. They're pretty small, but they'd be perfect to stamp um, some of those smaller sentiments on for everything. And let's see, maybe for mini, for everything. Uh, maybe sending hugs. Maybe sending hugs. That would be close, but you might be able to get that on there. Um, and then we've got some gorgeous printed vellum. Oops. Um, and those look like they're just like really fancy leaves. Oh my gosh, those are really pretty. And you can see it's kind of translucent a little bit. Um, as per vellum usual, um, but very pretty. And then we've got our card bases here and we've got some extras on the inside. So pull those out so we can just look at the card bases. So we've got three bumblebee. It's very bright and pretty. And then we've got three evening evergreen. And then these are the smaller cards. So these are the, I want to say mini, um, but they're just, they're a shade smaller than the, um, the bumblebee. So these ones will be matched with the smaller size envelope. Um, and then you get three of the evening evergreen and then this card, this is, this is my favorite. Um, so you get this beautiful fresh freesia and polished pink, um, card base here. And these are the same size as the bumblebee. So it's like a, a regular, a bigger size card, um, normal size card, I guess. Um, but we have, those and those are so pretty so they feature the alcohol ink um work on the front all right so we'll stop those there so we can keep them in our periphery and then we've got some of these gorgeous flowers um so you get two sheets oh sorry three sheets you get oh my gosh you get three sheets um in polished pink fresh regia and evening evergreen and they're just beautiful little flowers so these look like they have kind of like little berries on them Let's see if i can punch it out without ripping it so you can see what it kind of looks like. So you've got some berries there on this one. And then these are just um, 
like little leaves. And the same for this one. This one is um, kind of like a linear leaf and this one has uh, three little branches on it. Super cute. So you get three, uh, two of each color, three total sheets. And then you get um, some of these um, little borders. Sorry, you get some of these uh, little banners with borders. Um, and the borders are in basic, uh, actually they're in evening evergreen. They look like basic black, but they're actually evening evergreen. So that's fun way to coordinate. Um, and then these are maybe for the longer sentiment. So I think congratulations will fit on there. Um, thanks will fit on there. Obviously all of the mini and for everything, sending hugs. Um, and then you are amazing will fit on those square ones, but it won't fit here, but it will fit on those. Um, and these aren't squares. These are, uh, are they, uh, hexagons. So that'll fit on these hexagons here. And then last but not least, we have these super delicate vellum sheets. So pretty. And these are, um, the same kind of translucent. Um, and we get a big set of flowers here. pretty that is. Um, so you get this beautiful flower here and then we get thanks in three different languages. So you've got thanks, you've got danke, and you've got merci, which is, um, you know, French, German, and English. So you get them in three different languages. Um, and you know, um, I know some people, um, like having all in one language. Um, I don't, I, I think that thanks, especially thanks, um, it's kind of a universal thing. A lot of people know how to say thanks in multiple languages and that's a wonderful, beautiful thing, I think. Um, and so I like that they actually include different languages too. Um, but certainly if you don't want to use the danka and then you'll see, you could always just use thanks, um, and then find something else, to, um, in place of those two to kind of put on there on your cards. So that is the fun and exciting, um, supplies of the June, 2021 box. Um, so again, you get nine, you get to make nine cards, um, you get tons of, of uh, cute little banners in order to put your sentiments on, sentiment cards. Um, you get uh, some beautiful die cut flowers in the um, alcohol ink technique-ish kind of fashion. Um, you get a wonderful and versatile set of stamps and you get tons of extra little embellishments um, to add to your cards. Um, so this is, a, again, this is the paper pumpkin kit for June 2021. Um, the cost is $22. There's no, um, you know, uh, cancellation fees or, or any type of, uh, contract or anything like that. So you can sign up for one month and if you love it, you can keep going. And if you don't, um, you can, you know, switch to something different, um, but you can always rejoin. Um, so if you are interested in paper pumpkin at all and have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, Otherwise, um, if you would like to have a new upcoming um, July through December uh, mini catalog, um, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I also have annual catalogs that I'm willing to send you, holiday catalogs, celebration catalogs, um, and um, annual catalogs as soon as I'm able to. So feel free to reach out to me. If you have any questions in general about Stampin' Up! Um, or about Paper Pumpkin, subscribing, or, or stamping in general, please let me know. I'm happy to share what I love and I do love both Paper Pumpkin and Stampin' Up. Um, so it is great talking to you today and I'll see you next month for next month's Paper Pumpkin Kit.